。听到一群狗叫声，别害怕，这里是一个专门收养流浪动物的地方，由英国籍的 Sean 以及他的朋友们在三芝区的一个小角落组成台湾动物救援之家。借由外界的捐款，向扩大他的家园，总共一千多平。来到这里，不仅是闻不到臭味，而且环境也相当的干净，更是把这个地方变成这群动物们的天堂。Um, but also, uh, we, my friend told me actually it was、uh, Ella's mum that there's a, a beautiful house and a beautiful place that we could rent. Um, and it's it's one hour from it's one hour from Taipei, so it's not too bad, but. We wanted to go anywhere, but we wanted to be near the beach. So yeah, that's the answer. 来自英国的 Sean 十四年前在台湾教英文，不过看到随处可见的流浪或是受伤的动物，感到相当的惊讶。因此，他创办台湾动物救援福利，加上喜爱海滩的他，更选在三芝区，专门救援在台湾北部的流浪狗。用自己对动物的爱，让那些流浪狗们再次相信人类，并且与他们成为最紧密的家人。We don't really have any money coming in from the government or anything like that. It's all from Uh, people who see what we do, they love how we take care of the animals, and they they donate to us、um, to help take care. But without without the support, we'd be nothing. We we really couldn't do anything. But we get a lot of great support. And there's a businessman called Frank who's got the restaurant just down the road, Frank's Texas Barbecue. He's donating each year one kwai, ten million, and that's for us to start our foundation. 不过要经营这样子的动物之家也不是非常的容易，每个月开销就要将近三十万元，因此也常常需要外界的援助。而在这一千多平的场所，收容主人表示，这里共有一百多只的流浪狗，以及六七只长大后的迷你猪等等。但是由于场地租约到期，收容主人也正在想办法寻找下一个地点。Well, we're looking very hard.、Um, it's yeah, it's quite a challenge, but. We know the perfect place is out there for us. We always find great places, but we do need to find a place. We have nine weeks. We have to move from here at the end of September. So, if anybody knows a beautiful piece of land that we can use, even just for a couple of years,、um, we can rent or we can buy. We need about a thousand ping, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. And we love Santa, so we'd love to stay around here. 看到收容主人像与狗狗这么亲密的互动，对动物的爱心也是支持他撑起这个家的动力。除了食物全给动物们最天然的肉与蔬菜，完全不用饲料之外，也常常带着生病的流浪狗看兽医与用药。而每一只动物们都给他们命名。对于象来说，这一次面对到租约到期的问题，并不是难关，而是一个挑战。寻找一个可以建造更新更好的地方，并且要和他的伙伴们继续努力，为台湾的流浪动物来守护他们的梦想家园。记者徐端义三只采访报道。